The Russian state-owned United Aircraft Corporation UAC, has introduced virtual simulators for the Su-57E and MiG-35, showcasing the use of VR technologies for pilot training. According to the UAC's announcement on their official Telegram account, these technologies will be displayed at the Exhibition Pavilion of Museum Site No. 1 until August 25. This marks the first occasion on which the Russian company has publicly demonstrated the digital technologies used to train Russian pilots. Previously, the UAC had only mentioned that digital simulators and VR technologies were part of the Su-57 development, without ever presenting them to the public. The UAC adds that in addition to the digital simulators and VR technologies of the Su-57E, export version, and MiG-35, visitors will also have the opportunity to explore scientific discoveries and what they claim to be the world's best aviation technologies, according to the UAC, statement, tested aircraft, and world record achievements. The Su-57E digital simulator is a sophisticated training tool designed to replicate the operational environment of the Su-57E, an export variant of Russia's fifth-generation stealth fighter jet. It provides pilots with a realistic and immersive experience, allowing them to practice and hone their skills in a controlled, virtual setting without the risks and costs associated with actual flight. The primary role of the Su-57E digital simulator is to train pilots in various aspects of operating the Su-57E aircraft. This includes familiarization with the cockpit layout, understanding the aircraft's advanced avionics and weapon systems, and practicing complex maneuvers and combat scenarios. The simulator helps ensure that pilots are well prepared for real-world missions. According to Russian sources, the Su-57E digital simulator employs a range of advanced technologies to create a highly realistic training environment. These include high-fidelity graphics and visual systems that replicate real-world terrain and weather conditions, motion platforms that simulate the physical sensations of flight, and sophisticated software that models the aircraft's performance and behavior accurately. Additionally, the simulator integrates with virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR, systems to enhance the immersive experience. Russian media claims that another key technology used in the Su-57E digital simulator is artificial intelligence, AI. AI algorithms are employed to create realistic enemy behavior and tactics, providing pilots with challenging and dynamic training scenarios. This helps pilots develop their decision-making skills and adaptability in combat situations. The VR virtual reality system built into the Su-57 digital simulator is designed to provide an immersive training environment for pilots. This advanced simulation technology allows pilots to experience realistic flight scenarios without the risks associated with actual flight training. The VR system replicates the cockpit environment and external conditions, offering a comprehensive training experience. The capabilities of the VR system in the Su-57 simulator include high-fidelity graphics, real-time response to pilot inputs, and the ability to simulate various flight conditions and emergency scenarios. This allows pilots to practice maneuvers, weapon deployment, and emergency procedures in a controlled and safe environment. The system can also simulate interactions with other aircraft and ground control, enhancing the realism of the training.
The purpose of integrating VR into the SU-57 digital simulator is to enhance pilot training efficiency and effectiveness. By providing a realistic and immersive training experience, pilots can develop their skills and familiarity with the SU-57 systems and capabilities. This reduces the need for expensive and potentially dangerous live flight training while also allowing for more frequent and varied training sessions. The types of systems used in the VR setup for the SU-57 simulator include high-resolution displays, motion tracking systems, and haptic feedback devices. High-resolution displays provide detailed and realistic visuals, while motion tracking systems monitor the pilot's movements and adjust the simulation accordingly. Haptic feedback devices simulate the physical sensations of flying, such as vibrations and resistance, to further enhance the realism of the training experience. The types of sensors used in the VR system include position and orientation sensors, which track the pilot's head and body movements. These sensors ensure that the visual and auditory feedback provided by the VR system is accurately aligned with the pilot's actions. Additionally, force feedback sensors in the controls simulate the physical forces experienced during flight, providing a more realistic and immersive training experience. The VR simulator incorporates a virtual reality helmet, handheld controllers, and a computer with a training program that simulates the entire aircraft system. This allows the ground personnel to practice and master all technological processes virtually and to increase maintenance efficiency for the real machine. The VR simulator is available both separately and together with new aircraft. The system is being developed by the Suhoi specialists. The implementation of the system will provide significant advantages in terms of reducing financial and time costs for aircraft maintenance, recovery and repair, First Deputy Managing Director, Director of the Suhoi Design Bureau Mikhail Strelitz said.